In this class, we are going to learn how to encrypt the data or a message with the help of PLSQL that is by making use of this DBMS crypto package. In our previous class, we had seen in detail how to make use of this DBMS crypto package and write the PLSQL function that is to encrypt the data and decrypt the data. Uh, here is the specification file. I will tell you at high level the same thing what we have explained in our previous class. I have created couple of functions. In one function, I am passing the data and the key with the help of which I will be encrypting the data. Here the algorithm what we have selected is AES256 algorithm. In order to decrypt the data, I will be passing the same key with the help of which I have encrypted the data in first step that is over here. And we have to pass the same key. Then the data over here while decrypting will be the output from the first function that is the encrypted data we have to pass and in the response we will get the decrypted data that is whatever message we have used in order to encrypt over here in the response we will get from this function. In order to know how we have to write the body, please watch our previous class. Now I will straight away go to my integration and walk you through the integration. I have created couple of integration over here. One is to encrypt the data which we will call this function that is to encrypt the data in my PLSQL package. Next in order to decrypt the data I am making use of this integration which will consume this function from my PLSQL package that is decrypt data AES. Now first I will give you the demo. Click on this run. In the key we have to provide the key in order to encrypt the data and this is a message I am sending. This is a dummy message. So here it could be any sensitive data you want to encrypt. And the key we had seen in our previous class, it should be supporting that AES256 algorithm. Now click on run. In the response, we will get the encrypted data that is for, this is a dummy message. This is a dummy message will be transformed to this hexadecimal characters. Now let me just go back and test my decrypt db function over here. Sorry, the integration, click on run. In the body, input will be our encrypted data for this. Whatever we had encrypted with my first integration and in the response what I got, I have to provide over here. And in the key, I have to provide the same key with the help of which I have encrypted the data and generated this hexadecimal characters. Let me just paste it over here, the key. So key should match. If you change this key, then you will not able to decrypt the data. It will be very difficult in order to decrypt any AES-256 encrypted information. Click on run. In the response, I will get whatever message I had used in order to encrypt the data and generate the string. So whatever encrypted data you see, it is this message which I have encrypted. That is, this is a dummy message. Now I will walk you through this first integration that is encrypt data. As I have shown you while testing, I have exposed this integration over a REST protocol in order to accept the data from the user and the key. In real time use case, you might be getting this data from some API or from some source like a file or so and so forth things that you have to encrypt while inserting into the database. Now coming to this invocation that is for the database over here, I have made use of this Oracle ATP connection. Click on next. We have to select the stored procedure from the operations. I just come back over here. That is this operation invoke a stored procedure. Click on next. From here we have to select the schema. Then we have to select the package and the function name which we are going to use. If you scroll down, we will get the information like what is the input and the output parameters for that particular package function. Click on next and that's it. So whatever data what we get in the request for this integration, I'm mapping over here and in the response, I'm getting the encrypted data. As we see over here, the information we will encrypt whatever user has sent in the data and by making use of key, we will encrypt the data and send this varchar information back. So same thing I'm mapping over here. Coming to the decrypt data integration over here. So this integration also I have exposed over a REST protocol and in the request I'm accepting the encrypted data from the user and the key and in the response I'm sending the decrypted data. Here I have made use of this invoke ATP connection. Let me just open this. If you see Oracle ATP connection you have used and the operation you have to select invoke stored procedure. Click on next. In the next step, we have to select the schema, package name and the function which we are going to use. So this we are going to make use of our decrypt data AES-256 function and here you will get the overview on what are the input and the output parameters. So that's it with this invocation. So whatever data I'm getting from the user while invoking this integration, I'm mapping over here and in the response, we will be getting the decrypted data with the help of key, whatever user has used in order to encrypt the data. So like this, we can create integrations in order to encrypt and decrypt the data with the help of this DBMS crypto package in our Oracle ATP database.
In our earlier classes, we had seen how to do the same with the help of Oracle Cloud Vault with the help of this key OSINT. If you have not watched that class, please check out the class. We can make use of Oracle Cloud infrastructure in order to encrypt the data and decrypt the data.